Hello again. Something which I've observed time and again is that those who criticise this channel most fiercely seem to be more concerned with what is said in the comments than they are about what I say in my videos. They remark, quite correctly, that some people express dreadful and shocking opinions in the comments here and then somehow contrive to blame me for this. I don't get that at all. I always think very carefully about what I say in the videos which I post on this channel. I do not say that I never make a mistake or get something wrong, I'm sure that I do, but this is never done deliberately. I am pretty sure that YouTube haven't seen any hate speech in my videos or anything racist because they're very quick off the mark to jump on creators for that kind of thing. It's almost a year now since a video was removed from this channel and I was suspended for a week and that involved Covid and their medical misinformation policy rather than anything to do with race. Since people complain every day about videos here and YouTube have not objected to any of them for a year or so, it's probably fair to assume that I have not myself said anything racist this year on this channel. So much for the content I produce. How much responsibility do I have though for the people who comment on my videos? Here too I find myself a little puzzled. YouTube has two and a half billion users, which is getting on for a third of the human race. Among those thousands of millions of people are going to be many with opinions which would not pass muster among liberals and progressives. Many of those people are also going to express themselves in language which might not be used in polite company. I know this to be so because when I have mentioned illegal immigrants in the English Channel drowning, some people commenting here have expressed their pleasure at such an event, which is certainly not something I feel myself. Other people here have say the most awful things about Jews and make jokes about the Holocaust. I dare say that regular viewers will be aware that such views are unlikely to find favour with me, to say the very least of it. What then should I do about this? You see the nature of the problem. Almost a third of the people in the world can say anything they wish. Many of them will say things on this channel with which I disagree. Some of them might even be raving mad. Should I delete those comments with which I strongly disagree? Or should I perhaps reason with all those who I think hold an incorrect view? If so, what would be the point of that? If somebody really believes that the Holocaust was a hoax and that the Jews are controlling the world, would such a person be likely to abandon this view just because I think it foolish and wrong-headed? It's unlikely. In short, this is a chance for all those who think that the problem with this channel is the comments made here to explain exactly what they think I ought to do about this. I have to say right now that I think censorship is a terrible idea and I probably won't be doing any of it here. The reason that a lot of people who believe in conspiracy theories involving Jews come here regularly is not because I encourage this, but because other people, owners of other channels, do delete comments like that. The fact that I believe in free speech inevitably means that some people will come on here and say stuff that I don't personally agree with simply because they can and they can't do it elsewhere. That's the price we pay for free speech, you see. Having people say things that we might think are wicked or mad.